Salut à tous et à toutes, j'espère que vous allez bien. Chaque jour qu'on dort et qu'on se réveille, il y a des nouveaux dossiers. Avant de commencer, n'oubliez pas de me suivre sur mes réseaux sociaux Indiana Shelley. Qu'est-ce qui se passe Depuis quelques jours, il y a la vidéo d'une américaine du nom de Brady Is Music qui circule sur les réseaux sociaux. Cette jeune dame nous explique sa relation avec le chanteur franco-camerounais Taiki. Mais elle là, elle oublie que Taiki est Bamileke. Les Bamileke ne dépensent pas leur argent comme ça. Hein. Si tu avais besoin d'un vrai pigeon, il fallait choisir un footballeur français. Tu ne peux pas manger son argent comme ça. Bref, elle nous explique un peu les traits, entre guillemets, toxiques de, de Taiki, tout en précisant qu'il a un gros bangala et qu'il a mon goût très bien. Les gens qui disent que oui, Taiki, c'est vraiment un mec toxique et tout. Donc toi, tu viens, tu dénonces hein, ton gars toxique et puis tu précises qu'il a un gros bangala. Est-ce que c'est sérieux Cette revendication-là, elle est sérieuse même. Toi aussi. Ah. Bref, je vous laisse regarder sa vidéo jusqu'à la fin. Et après, je vais donner mon avis. To address this. But since Taiki decided to text me and ask me to take a video down that I posted a year ago, let's get into it. It was the summer of 2022 and I was a fine young thing bartending at a strip joint called Allure here in Atlanta, Georgia. Who you call Taiki, I call Julian, decided to DM me to let me know that he was in Atlanta. I invited him to the club. He came to my bar. I had no idea who he was. I thought he was fine. We ended up hunching like two days later. After that, we were inseparable. I mean, everywhere he went, I went. Everywhere he traveled to, I traveled to too. We was in love. Like when I say in love, I mean in love. Like I was trying to take this man to go meet my parents. To make a long story short, I started noticing some qualities that I just could not get jiggy with. And at first I would make up excuses because the D was good. Like when I say the D is good, best D I ever had in my life. And then I also used to be like, well, there's a language barrier. So maybe that's not what he meant to say or, or he doesn't mean it that we would go to dinner and he would get so upset that a man was talking to me. He would be so upset that I was getting more attention than the famous Taiki. When I say I don't think I've ever met a more insecure person than him, we would go to dinner here in America where you're supposed to tip and he would literally run up a $500, $800 tab and not leave the waiter a dime. Being that I work in the hospitality industry, I'm a server, bartender nonetheless, That would really upset me and I would try to explain to him the importance of paying these people. He didn't care. He would tell me, I'm from Paris, we don't tip. Not to mention he would blatantly call me fat in front of anyone. Not to mention the time that he was nominated for a BET award and he flew out to LA and asked me to come with him and told me that if I wanted to come I had to fly an economy and I asked why when we are on the same flight and he was flying first class. He told me, You're not me. You're not a star. You don't get to do what I do. I fly first class. You gotta sit in the back of the plane. Rosa Parks did not get kicked off that bus for me to have to fly in the back of the plane. I'm sorry. He would literally FaceTime me while I wasn't wearing makeup like this and he would be like, you look horrible right now. I'm sorry, but I don't care how good the D is. You're not gonna tell me that I look horrible. That's just mean. That's pure insanity. For we would break up to make up and then I would just wake up one day and hear my voice on his songs He would literally just take my voice memos and put them on his songs without my consent. That's stealing sir You're going to jail And that's not the best part. He started DMing all of my best friends trying to hook up with them So eventually I said something to him about it and like the narcissistic person that he is, he tried to flip it, he tried to call, he tried to apologize, but there's no apology to be had. You know that those people are my friends and you purposely just tried to embarrass me just because you want to feel bigger and better than me. And because I called him on his BS, he decided to block me. So he blocked me from all social media for like maybe three, four months only to unblock me and call me just to say hey i wanted to let you know that i'm having a baby so yeah that's it your precious taiki the julian himself he's actually a very horrible person congratulations and he knew about the video he's been known about the video he saw the video he follows me on tiktok check my followers i don't follow him but he follows me on all social media stop lying I guess his baby mama's supposed to be mad about the video all of a sudden. He actually told me to make a story turn because he thinks that no. Je ne sais pas si c'est une histoire juste pour le buzz. 
Peut-être là, Taiki, il prépare la sortie d'un clip et puis il cherche à faire un, un buzz autour de ce clip. Je ne sais pas. Mais là, ce n'est pas du tout crédible. Tu viens, tu te plains, tu dis que oui, on l'aurait invité à une émission. Euh, le gars, il voyage en première classe, il te laisse en classe basique, mais c'est normal, c'est son argent. La première fois que tu as mis les pieds ici en France, c'est Taiki lui-même qui t'a payé le billet d'avion. Ça, tu ne mentionnes pas. Quand vous êtes dans un restaurant et puis un homme vient te complimenter devant lui, et eh ben genre, il n'est pas content, mais c'est normal toi aussi. Tu es au restaurant avec ton chéri, il doit laisser les, les hommes venir te draguer devant lui. Toi aussi, si tu voulais te laisser draguer par les autres hommes, il ne fallait pas aller manger au restaurant avec ton mari, enfin avec ton chéri. Moi, dans cette histoire, je ne vais pas mettre les organes parce qu'après tu vas te rendre compte que c'est un buzz, c'est surjoué. Et vous, qu'est-ce que vous en pensez de cette histoire moi, c'est Indiana Chelet. N'oubliez pas de me suivre sur mes réseaux sociaux. Je vous dis à très bientôt. Restez connectés.